hello everyone and welcome to the channel so if you are someone who is in masters and who is planning to pursue his career in higher education want to go for higher education and in that case definitely you need some hands on experience hands on research experience and for that you have a very good opportunity to apply for different summer internship programs and this is the right time when different institutes including iit isers iasc they open their application portal for uh, the selection of different summer internship programs so i would highly encourage you to utilize this time and look at different iits and iscs and uh, uh, isers their website and look for a proper internship which suits you uh, and you can apply for that and utilize that particular uh, internship for the benefit of your future career right i am here talking about a particular internship which IIT Hyderabad has started so this is the official page of IIT Hyderabad and they have announced their application for summer undergraduate research exposure which in short they call it as SURE and uh, the deadline for this is 5th of March so make sure you fill the form before that all the details about it you can find out on the official page I'll give you that in this particular video so that you don't have to go through that if you click on this read more you will be able to see the page for summer undergraduate research exposure SURE 2025 it says that applications are invited for SURE internship 2025 how many intakes they are going to take so basically they are going to take 250 interns so a lot of students they are going to take so there is high chances that you are going to get selected for this and especially if you are a female candidate in that case 100 exclusive positions are for girls so if you are a girl and if you want to take advantage of this particular program this is a very 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 good opportunity what will be the amount of fellowship so of course when you do these internships you are provided with certain amount of fellowship so it is rupees 15,000 per intern for two months so if you choose this internship for two months duration in that case you will get total amount of 15,000 if you choose this internship for one month in that case you will get rupees 7500 per month per intern per intern means per person and if you choose this internship for one and a half month in that case you will get rupees 10,000 for one and a half month per intern okay it is mentioned over here that interns can choose one option either one month duration one and a half month duration or complete two month du duration okay so you have to choose while filling the form you have to choose which how much duration you want this internship to be no other amount slash benefit will be applicable so you will only get these amount of uh, like fellowship no additional amount will be paid to you so next thing is what is the duration of it so one or two month between may to july tentative is from 15th of may till 14th of july minimum of one month and maximum of two month okay that will be the duration of this particular internship accommodation and food so hostel accommodation provided by iit hyderabad student hostels and mess charge to be borne by the intern so you have to pay the mess charge if you are if you will be selected so basically ho hostel accommodation will be provided to you but mess charge you have to pay what is the eligibility so only non iit hyderabad student with the following criteria so you should not be a student of iit hyderabad and you should also fulfill these criteria okay now there are four criteria a b c d criteria number a says that you should be first year msc maths physics chemistry biology or ma first year or the second or third year b tech b d e s which is all branch or third or fourth year of integrated b tech m tech program okay this is first eligibility criteria the second eligibility criteria is that applicant should be among top 20 percent based on cgpa score in all the previous year of their discipline in the college institute universities and this should be certified by the head of institute okay so you should be having a good cgpa in your score in your uh, like in your uh, class then the third is that the applicant should be full time or regular student at the time of application and till the completion of internship so you should be enrolled in an institute okay or university and fourth criteria is that the applicant should be able to work full time minimum one month for the internship uh, part time online internship is not allowed you have to come to iit hyderabad and you have to get hands on experience over there okay so this these are four criteria and all these four criteria should be fulfilled next is application submission 
So your application must be submitted through the web portal only. Offline application and application through email shall not be entertained. And after the deadline, no application will be accepted. So make sure that if you uh, are planning to apply, apply it before the deadline. Okay. Selection procedure. So the first is first point in it is that the preliminary screening of the applicant followed by interview, which will be online interview, will be done by department or mentor faculty wise. And the second will be selection based on academic performance, participation, recognition and competition such as Olympiad, National Talent Search Exam, which is NTSC and performance in the interview. Okay. So if you have given any Olympiad or something, you can also give the information about that. Timeline is that uh, your uh, deadline for the submission of form is till 5th of March. So this thing should be very clear to you. And declaration of result will be on 10th of April, which is tentative. And the uh, program will start from 15th of May. Notification of selection. So it says that the selected candidate shall be informed through emails only. The final list of the selected intern shall also be displayed on the SRC office web page uh, under the news announcement section. Communication. So it says that there is no separate communication will be sent to the non-selected candidate. So if you are selected, you will be given through mail or your name will be there in the list of selected students. Final, they say what about the decision? So the decision of IIT Hyderabad authorities shall be the final end in the selection of candidates and no correspondence shall be entertained in this regard. Uh, here you can go to apply for it and these are some frequently asked question but let me first of all go through the list of interested faculties to mentor the sure interns or SUR interns. So if you are chemistry student and if you are if you want to do uh, like want to do this particular internship in especially in chemistry you can see there are one two three four five and six faculties these are the name of faculties and these are the topics in which their research is already going on so you can see organic synthesis organometallic organic chemistry luminescent material this is material science bio inspired catalyst uh, energy storage so these are like physical chemistry so you have all the faculties from organic inorganic physical material bio all these faculties are there even for chemical science engineering you have nanotechnology and all these faculties are there you can see for mo like there are a lot of departments and a lot of faculties list is there you can go through it you, if you belong to a particular uh, like department you can go through the list and see if you have a faculty which is working in a similar field or in an interesting field which you want to do okay so go through this list and choose your faculty whichever faculty you want to uh, like approach okay now let me tell you how you are going to fill the application form because this is very important so you have to click on this application form apply here click on this link and you will be able to see this particular form uh, now here you can see that you have to fill your name email mobile number gender date of birth all the basic in like information you have to fill your, the name of your current institute in which you are enrolled you have to choose your current course the course in which you are enrolled okay if you belong to whatever subject you are you can mention that okay then uh, your sgpa scale so your sgpa scale and how much sgpa you have got or how much cgpa you, scale is there and how much cgpa you have got and department of your interest to pursue internship so which department you are planning so as i said that you have to go through this whole list right and you have to write down the name of the department in which you want to do your internship then you have to select the name of potential mentor uh, which under whom you want to do this particular internship and you have to choose the duration so you can see there are three durations one is for two months one is one and a half month one is one month okay so you can choose any three of them and then you have to upload your document in this document you have to upload your cv your last semester mark sheet and a certificate from your hod or principal and the certificate should say that you are already enrolled into it uh, you can see there are different like all this like uh, information about all these uh, documents will be there in this particular portal you can see there is a click here to format for the let letter of head of institution so if you click on this and you will be able to see so this will download you a word file which is basically a certificate which says that this is to certify that your name will be there your roll number will be, will be there your course your branch you are studying in which semester and you are under top 20 percent of your branch and uh, you have to get this signed by your head of institute or head of department 
and along with the seal of that and date of issue and your college seal and you are done okay so this certificate you have to upload so once you upload all these things remember you have to upload your cv your last semester mark sheet and the certificate which i have shown you can easily upload all these things and you have to click on these two uh, that you have read it and understood all the things and then submit and your application will be submitted okay so this is a very good opportunity i just wanted to make this sure that all of you know about it please share this video with your friends also so that they can also apply for this particular internship program and uh, that's it from my side if you want to have more videos like this please do let me know in the comment section below also please subscribe to the channel so that i can keep making more videos for you guys on this particular channel thank you so much i will see you guys in the next video take care bye bye